So David's bugging out right now. I don't know if the mic is picking this up, but David is. <laughs> Damn, this is not worth it. What do you mean? Like this? Just fall forward? And fall forward? Do I record it? Oh, no! I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. We travel around to different food festivals where we eat all the eats, we drinks all the drinks, and we get all types of crazy while giving you guys the most raw and realest food reviews in the game. This is Send Foods. What's good, you sexy mother Welcome to another episode of Send Foods on Thrillist. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. And right now, we're in mother Las Vegas at the Caesars Palace Casino. I love Caesars Palace. We got a special episode of Sand Foods today because we're not going to any food festivals. We're just here to give you guys a taste of the Caesars Palace, show you what nice little food spots they got to offer up, little activities, and we're just here to get drunk and have a good time. What people don't know, Vegas is a mecca for food. We got a whole tapanyaki experience planned for us. Tapanyaki? Tapanyaki, dog. You're talking about the, hey, hey, hold it, here's the fire. Wait, tapanyaki, isn't that the skewers? No, that you're thinking about yakitori. Teppanyaki oh. is that, well, you want to see a volcano white guy? Here, oh. hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. open your mouth. Yeah, yeah, open yeah, your... Uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is my job. All right, so I'm excited for that. I'm, I'm just excited, bro. They got a whole agenda planned for us, and I'm ready to just get lit and eat some good food. Caesars, homie. Caesars, homie. Caesars Palace, cuz. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, dude. <laughs> I want food. What's it? Food? Whoa! Tamale roasted garlic cream sauce. Whoa! Whoa. All right, y'all. So we out here at the Mesa Grill. Shout out to Bobby Flay. Hey, man. Come, come on. Uh, come, come join us on the show. Come Please, be on man, our episode. I, I freaking love you, dude. You're the one white guy that always uses seasoning. But let's dig into this, man. So here we got this uh, shrimp tamale, and it looks like it's a uh, corn tamale. If, if I'm, if I'm looking at this. This is why I love these type of chefs because not only do they just have something on their menu that's very familiar, they always like to flip it up, man. And this right here, ooh, halibut. Pozole. I love pozole. I've never had pozole with some halibut though. Oh. But I'm, I'm gonna go in, you know why? Why? For the halibut. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, oh, look at bro, this. bro. I can always smell, smell sweet, that sweet corn. Bobby Flay, man. Hey, this right here, this is fuego, dog. It's like a a tamale, very sweet with this like cream corn yeah. sauce. The shrimp is popping as well. Oh man, this sauce is insane. That's bomb. Mm. This mm. man doesn't back away from seasoning, man. You ready to try this uh, pozole? Oh yeah, let's get it. I'm gonna dig into this pozole. I'm mm. just gonna get a fat bite of this nice good. flaky ass halibut, dude. Let me tell you something, man. Pinche gringo Bobby Flay, dog. <laughs> He knows what he's doing, man. Roberto. Like, he's like he's 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 really embracing the like the Mexican flavors. Roberto Flay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good move on that guacamole or the avocado on top, nice and cool. It kind of balances out the saltiness and the heat that you get from the soup. Mm -hmm. I could eat this all day, man. Balance, dude. Balance. Balance. <laughs> we are at my favorite buffet in all of Vegas. Oh God, look at this right here. Where You've been here before. Bacchanal Buffet. I've never, I've, I've never oh been here before. Oh but apparently, this sh is fire. Little Jonah crab claws, man. Jonah and the whale, dude. That's some biblical sh Get a couple of, you know, sea snails, man. You just eating without me, bro? That's how you do a buffet, bro. You gotta eat and scoop. Oh, so the fat guy is losing. So we are at my favorite station of all. It's the carving station. I know a lot of people might think that when it comes to like carving stations at buffets, the, the meat's gonna be dry and it's whack. That you've never been to Bacchanal, dude. Come on, dog. This is Bacchanal. Oh, it's right on top of the bacon spine, man. Let the juices mingle. Thank you very much. Let's go. Man. <sighs> Gabrielle, can you bring our other stuff, please? 
Shout out to producer Grabby L for grabbing our stuff there. Yeah, Thank Grabby you. L. Grab, that's Grabby L. That's what I call her. They got porridge here. Oh. Oh, the Asian sh The Asian sh Wow. <laughs> All right, where are we going first? Uh, let's try. I'm going to try out Is these. Is it seafood? Cool, cool, cool. I got one of these, man. Oh, I got something for you, dude. Oh, no. Oh, my shoe. <laughs> my shoe. Oh, my shoe. Mm. Want to wait for you? No, go ahead. Mm. Don't wait for me, mm. you bastard. <laughs> you can't go wrong with just some crab and some shellfish, just by itself, nice and fresh oh. with some butter. You know, some clarified butter. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet, very tender. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it! I love it! I love it! I love it! Back it out! <laughs> Back it out! So this is the sea snail. Very interesting looking, right? I know it looks scary, but it's kind of like a really dense, who the f is calling me right now, man, oh, while geez. I'm eating? Grab so, L, can you grab in his pocket and handle that, please? Uh, you, uh, you might have to, I have butter <laughs> on my hands. Right, this one, not my ass, but you crazy, dude. Uh, excuse me? Man, I know you're going through some stuff right now, but you crazy. So this is the sea snail. It's like a very firm, firm clam. Don't oh, be yeah. scared by the way something looks, try it first. Here we go, oh, you already got it out? I got it out, easy, bro. Damn, son, what the heck? Ugh. You sprayed me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. So butter. Clarified oh, yes, butter. Please. Mmm. Hey. Chewy clam, man. You guys snailed it. <laughs> what, are you, what, what are we tackling next here? Let's get this meat, dog. Oh. You already know what buffet's dope when they got the prime rib, perfect medium rare. Like oh, that's that popping. Let me get some of yours. I didn't get the prime rib. I can't. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a skilled stacker like you are. Oh, give me, let me get some of your horseradish, too. And some of your Jew. Is this your Jew? I don't even have much left. Oh, bomb. <laughs> mm. It's cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice and fatty. My favorite part of any type of prime rib is actually the, I think it's called a deckel. Is this part right here, the deckel. Oh, is that? Oh, that right? Oh, the deckel. The deckel. The little piece is right kind of like, right, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like the fat is like surrounding it. Look at that. It just kind of like falls apart. Mm. It's super fatty. There's a little piece right there. I saved it for you, you stupid oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you saved a piece of your deckel? That's right. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. Mmm. 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 The best part. Oh, and this is where I'm the slab bacon. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot about the flat slab bacon. <sighs> just like a thick piece of pork belly. Smoked. Oh man, that little like little like uh, a little crisp on the outside. That little nice little. Uh... Cheers. Oh. Mmm. That's oh. so good. Oh my god, that might be my favorite thing on the plate. It's smoky. It's fall apart tender. Mm-hmm. A little sweet. That little like crust is kind of oh. sweet. Amazing. Pop him. I mean, there's so much more stuff to eat here. Yeah. But obviously, we kind of overdid it on our first run. Rookie mistake. And you know what that means? It's time for round two. Yep. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at Old Homestead. Oh, Hello. what you got here, bro? So this is the Old Homestead burger. So we blended it with dry aged beef, a little bit of American Wagyu, and just regular prime beef as well. Cook it in a cast iron, cheddar cheese, caramelized onions. And it's on a brioche bun with a little bit of uh, our house made mustard sauce. Uh, it's served with a duck fat fries, oh. a little bit of rosemary and fried uh, garlic, and bourbon ketchup. Thank you, bro. Thank well, you. this sounds amazing. Dude, that crunch. No, oh, man, they're delicious. All right, well, let me get Whoa. Them. I know. You can taste the fat in that. Oh, whoa. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't get full. That's probably some of the best fries I've ever had. It's delicious. Hold on a second. What's going on right here? Are you hearing that? Yo, slice into that bitch right now. Yeah, mother Ooh! Look at the inside. It's so perfect. Uh-huh. You, you already know that a steakhouse made this because look at how the beef is cooked. Cheers. Cheers to you, sir. Ha. Huh? Ha. Huh. Wow. Mmm. Shaped like a burger, tastes like a steak. And that bread is so soft, too. This is so good. Top three burgers I've ever had in my life. This might be the best burger I've ever had. This right here is fire, dude. Dude, they're not playing here, man. They God. not fucking playing out here in these streets, son. Mm. All right, y'all, so now we are at Nobu. The master chef is gonna ha 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 everything yeah. for us. That's Japanese for cook. <laughs> Good evening, welcome to Nobu. My name is Nick, we are chef tonight. Thank you for coming. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Whoa! How you do that? I'm so scared it's gonna fly into my eyeball. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh! Okay, Michael jo Oh my god! A little fire, a little fire. One, One two, three. Whoa! 
Oh my gosh, it melted all my makeup off. Oh, my eyebrows! <laughs> Look how hot the griddle is. Yeah. Look how hot the chef is, bro. Oh, dude. We got our, we got our prawns. <laughs> that made me blush. <laughs> got our sea bass. Mm, oh, Green sea bass. That's a thick ass piece. Ooh, the lobster pieces. Oh my god. It's very hard to get raw lobster out of its shell, by the way. Wow. wow. Oh my Whoa. god. Oh my god, what a Whoa. beast. Now this man right here is a G. Hey. Hey, <laughs> dude. Asian people always do it the best. True that. Oh. Lobster. Right off the grill. Boom. Mm-mm. He knew right when to take it off, too. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, Enjoy. Team or tea. Wait. OK, now you can go. Mm. Mm. You know what I love about like Japanese food, though? Everything is prepared very simply, but it's always done right. Nothing too crazy. Just let the uh, ingredients speak for themselves. Yes. Yeah. So good. Oh, thank you. Oh, Tim, oh. you look full. Cool. Oh. You know what I do? I just tell my brain to be quiet. Oh. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. That grilled too, you put that nice little crust on it. Uh-huh. Oh, my oh. lord. Oh, oh man, the vegetables, dog. <laughs> we ain't got time for that shit. We got our umami chicken. Umami chicken? Yo, mama chicken, dude. I'm not tapping out, dude. I just, you know, I want to save some for the crew, you know? I could totally, like, eat all of it right now. Food is coming out your ears right now. <laughs> I'm a little guy. <laughs> All right, we got our shrimp chip. I didn't put no seasoning on it, so if you like, you could sprinkle some of that soy salt on there. Okay, ow, it's hot. Mmm, mmm. Mm, oh, that's a shrimp chip. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Black pepper. Oh, man. You hanging in there? Oh, look at the crust on that thing, man. Yeah. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm, I'll make room for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my, my like, my, my, my kung fu powers to like shift my stomach to the side and make room. Oh, uh, uh, that, that was my testicle. Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, now I can eat. The Japanese wagyu. Oh, let's do it. Boom. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Like I always say this, it's like eating a really, really good piece of beef fat. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like, it's so tender. And it's like so just like melty and like gushy. And it's like, mm. Let's try this umami chicken though. I'm full. All right, you stupid asshole. <laughs> Oh man, yo, this is good. The marinade is fire. It's so good. You're so full. <laughs> okay, so we're super full, but what's a better way to uh, have a little dessert than with some cigars at the Monte Cristo Cigar Bar? Oh, look at that, dude. Wow. Thank you, sir. So this is our Rolling Smoke cocktail. Uh huh. The cocktail consists of High West Campfire, a little coffee-infused Carpano Antica. Are you just saying a bunch of words? Little... I know, you could be making up words right now. We have no idea. <laughs> so Carpano Antica is a sweet vermouth. Ah. And the High West is a bourbon. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so wow. much. Wow. Ooh, that is smoky, bro. Mine's still smoking. Yours is gone now. I know, what the heck? Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. Oh. Yeah, that it's is nice. Freaking pleasant. Yeah, it's just like a really like a it's like a it's like a cognac. I have never smoked a cigar in my life. Yeah. Uh, and I've no. only ever done it for Instagram pictures. Instagram pictures. So yeah, I'm so not exactly sure. Give if us I know a whole breakdown about how this whole ritualistic thing goes on. So cigar smokers are usually pretty mellow. They just want to hang out, smoke a cigar, have a cocktail. Well, it's like tea time for guys. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Today we're gonna try the Monte Cristo White Series. So we're gonna cut the tips off first. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh, oh god, I just got flashbacks when I was a baby. Yeah, yeah, don't. <laughs> so we're gonna toast it first. We're gonna hit the ends. It's and just, then what just... you wanna do is put it between your teeth, suck it in, and then blow it out. How's that for you? Tasty. Interesting. Interesting. You know what it is? What? I feel so classy right now. Oh, I know. I feel above my pay grade. That's what I'm saying. 
I want to complain about my children and my wife right now. Yeah, I want to. I want to speak to the manager. That was. That's so interesting. Are we doing this right? Yeah, you're getting there. I compare it to wine tasting, where you want to get the flavors in your mouth and then you spit it out. Look at you, Tim. I don't know if I'm doing it right. But you look great while you do it. I can't tell if I'm enjoying <laughs> this or not. But if I look cool, then... You look really cool, dude. Well, then that's all that matters. Do it at the same time. Just mm -hmm. Breathe it in and... There you go. There you go. Yup. <laughs> oh, I nailed, I nailed a little you bit. You just recreated that same drink over again. Oh, yeah, smoky. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I like this. Yeah, dude. I think I'm a fan. You I think you're a fan? It's good. I think so. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Monte Cristo. All right, guys, so... It's time to turn up a bit, because we at the Vanderpump Cocktail Garden, about to have some cocktails. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, sir, what do you have for us? We have first is the Checkmate Bitch. Checkmate <laughs> yeah. Bitch. Then, uh, this guy wants to fight me. Savannah Pink Margarita. Savannah Pink Margarita. Uh -huh. And our Matcha Matcha Man. I've never had a matcha alcohol drink before. Yeah, just first off, right off the bat, beautiful drinks. Okay, okay, look at that. Take, take a little sip. That's not a <laughs> Oh, okay. is, that, is that what you do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That. Ooh, I f with that. That's super refreshing. Oh yeah, yeah. I like a little spicy drink. I actually like drinks with a little bit of heat in it. Mmm. How's that? I, I like it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You can take the tequila in there for sure. Can you eat this flower? I don't know. I don't think you should do it. It looks poisonous. Tim, I think that's poisonous. No, it's good. They're not gonna put it in there if you can't eat it. Cut scene. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Put your refined matcha taste buds to the test here. Show me what, tell me what f***ing garden in Japan this shit grew in. Uh, this is on the mountainside of Kyoto. <laughs> uh, picked by a 72-year-old Japanese grandma with no teeth. <laughs> Wrong, two teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's either between this and that now. Oh, oh, I do like this. That's very refreshing, man. And it, that matcha, nice and earthy too. Very delicious. It's like you're drinking just like alcoholic tea. Like yeah. a cold alcohol tea. That's nice. I wonder if I can eat this. Can I eat this? Tim, oh God, you are going to sh everywhere. Oh, that's, dude, that's, that's something. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo, bite, bite this dog. Bite this sh Is this rosemary? I made my tongue go bzz. It tastes like a band-aid. <laughs> You know, if we're just trying things out, man. We might as well just give it a go. You know? <laughs> this is also edible. That's a very sturdy napkin. Oh, Tim, I think that's an aloe leaf. No, it's not. Oh, God, Tim. It's all right. I really don't think you're supposed that. to eat that, try dude. That. Try that. Mmm, so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're here at the Fly Link. We're about to go zip lining. My guy, David, has a supreme fear of heights. Um, <laughs> but it's okay, dude. We're drunk. I'm we're, not drunk enough. You're not you're okay? You know, you're okay. <laughs> Come on. Don't no push fun. me. I'm scared. <laughs> Come on, bro. My palms are moist. You know, they weren't going to make David do it, but then he said, no, I can do it. And then, but I don't think he knew how high it was going to be. Um, how you feeling, man? Oh, I'm good. I'm brave. You okay? Do it for Send Foods, man. Man, they don't pay me enough for this. Woo! How you feeling, bro? <laughs> it's becoming more and more real as we continue. And I just stand up. up sir. Let's slide all the way. Oh, right in the nutsack. You know, please, Lord, uh, calm his nerves, lift his spirits. How do I tighten this? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, man, you got this. You ready? Let's do this. Oh God! Ah, oh, you son! Oh God! <laughs> so David's not even putting on for the camera right now. This is real. Oh, I opened my eyes. Don't open your eyes. Everybody that I've done wrong, I meant it. I fucking hate you. Oh, you stupid sons of bitches! I'm going to throw up. Oh, I fucking hate you. Mariel, <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Do I record it? Oh, no! No! Oh my God! David's moving way faster than me because he's like fatter. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my God! It's too fast! Oh, it's faster than everybody else! Okay, okay. It's not so bad. You know what? I'm still alive. Oh my God, Jack! 
Oh, shit. <laughs> I hate this show. Oh, I fing hate this show. <laughs> Tim, I, Tim, I don't like the show anymore. Were you anymore. screaming? Were you screaming? I don't like the show. <laughs> <laughs> I fing quit. This show is not worth it. How do you feel? A little poop came out. You got you, you did it! You did it, dude! You did it! You conquered your fear! Get out of there! I gotta pee! Now that was a fun episode. Yes, man. I mean, can I shout outs to Caesar's Palace? Shout out to mother Caesar's Palace for showing us a great time. Out of all the food experiences that I've had so far on the show, I think this one tops it, dude. I've never eaten so much for an episode of Send Foods. I'm about to like. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite thing you ate? Oh, it had to be. That burger and duck fat mm. fries. Wow, guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. I'm gonna agree with you. That burger was oh, amazing. It's the burnt and the, <laughs> the burger was bomb. And you know what? I also just loved that um, shrimp. Um, the shrimp uh, tamale. tamale. I love the shrimp tamale from uh, from uh, Mesa. That was bomb. Caught me off guard. It was so good. Oh. And as always, you know we be reading all those comments, so keep leaving them, and we'll shout you out. Like, for example, shout out to Celine Diaz, who said Tim and David are the only reason she subscribed to Thrillist. Well, yeah. Duh, and shout outs to <laughs> Bunny31 for saying that Tim and David are so funny together. Yay, so keep leaving those comments, Oh, this one's on the floor! I know. Keep watching, keep leaving comments. All that shit. thank you for watching. Peace. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm Timothy Delaghetto. And I'm David Sell. Thanks for watching Send Foods on Thrillist, you bitch.